In this video, I'm going to cover how to do real estate photography with a cell phone. And I'm going to show three different examples. Same home, different cameras, different photographers shot it three different times, but it is the same property. So this is the uh, the cell phone photos. I think you'll agree they're good photos. Uh, they were, after we did this photo shoot with a cell phone, we posted it in a professional photography group. No one could tell that they were cell phone photos. Part of the reason for that is the lighting. It was done in the middle of the day. So the sun is above the house. There's no harsh shadows. There's no direct sun coming in through the windows that would create issues. The sun is directly above. So that is taking care of a lot of the lighting issues. Also, the lights are off because there's plenty of light in the house. Sometimes when you turn on the light, that creates glares. It creates color issues. If these are yellow bulbs, it will turn all this white paint yellow. And it may even cause a lens flare on the cell phone slash camera. So it's always a good idea if you can shoot without the lights. Turn them off. It'll make the colors natural and accurate. Um, so you can see uh, this is also the order. The order these photos are in, they flow with the traffic of the home from the front of the home, through the living room, through the kitchen, into the primary bedroom. The owners did a great job getting it ready. They had, you know, very minimum. They've taken everything down. There's a good example. Lights off. Light is shining through the room. There is a mirror in the room. You have to watch the mirrors. Sometimes you want to take these mirrors out of the room. Uh, you don't want to catch any uh, reflections or you don't want to catch yourself in a mirror reflection. Then the shot going in, the end shot, the nook back shots. You've got a shot going into the bathroom and then a nook back shot. Guest room, guest room. Most rooms, uh, bedrooms, you're going to shoot from the door and across the room. You're going to pick up three walls. So you've got what we'd call your anchor wall here. You're making sure everything is straight. Then you're making sure everything is level. This is kind of your story wall. This is the subject of what you're showing. And you've got a connecting wall here to finish the story off. So this is what you call a three wall perspective off center. So you want to be just off center to the right or the left. And then you've got anchor wall here, one, story wall, two, and then your wall to complete the story. There's another example of anchor wall here, story wall. You're showing these doors. You're showing these closets. Nice Nice doors for closet doors, and then you're showing that window view again. In this room, we just did one shot. That's all you need there in that bedroom. That's from the doorway. Again, three-wall perspective, off-center to the left. So if you were standing dead center, you'd be right here with the, the wall, at your back of back, and then... You want to go two feet to the right or two feet to the left. In this case, we're standing in the door just to the right a little bit. If you were in the center of the room, it'd be just to the left and shooting across. To give you, We're also shooting about waist height. So you're shooting, if you imagine if you were sitting in the room, that would be the perspective you want to have. You never want to shoot too high. I'll show you some photos here in a minute where they shot too high. Everything's unlevel and it's crooked. Backyard. Again, the shadows, see how the sun is above? So you've got some shadow, but you have no dark shadows coming across the back of the house. Then we're just circling the yard. We start over here to the right, we're working our way to the middle. Then we're going to work our, our way up to the patio here. And there's your finishing shot. And then this was in the front, which is unusual, so, but, but this is what I would just call a utility shot. It's right there, so we just put it at the back in the home you know it's right there at the front so it's uh let's go to same house different set of photos see how these are on level they're too high they're looking down they're crooked lights lights are on they were not professionally edited hallway shots you usually never need that shot it's it's 
um, just not needed. This shot, you can decide where you want to take this. If you do this shot, you want this all cleaned up. You want the trash cans out of there and you want to be level, level and straight. This is straight, but it's unlevel and it's too high. But it is straight looking into the room. Again, all of their photos on this, you know, they're looking down. Everything's, that's almost level. See, there's a light flare. The sun is behind the house. See the dark shadows? The sun is behind the house. It's shining. The sun is almost directly. It's right here. Shining directly into the camera. So the way to do that is make sure the sun... Two, two ways to handle this issue. You would... If you'll keep the sun at the back or the sun at your back, so the sun in this example would be shining directly on the house, that would give you a better photo. And then when the sun is shining on the back of the house, you would take that photo. So that might be, in this example, the front would be the morning shot. Do three or four photos of the front in the morning. Wait till the sun's above, shoot the inside. And then when the sun sets, shoot the back of the house. Or... Just wait till the sun is directly above and do the front, inside, and then the back. Let's look at another angle here. See, see the dark shadows? That's because the sun is coming in from the back of the house. And it's creating a huge shadow over the front of the house. Your same house. This looks like probably when it was built. Um, the, the angles are good but the edits are bad. Uh, so you can see a lot of, a, should have been a sky replacement here. Our editors will do that. Uh, should have been a little bit of yard cleanup. Uh, here are these yellow overtones. If you start turning on too many lights, uh, you get a lot of yellow overtones. Some of that can be brushed out, but then you get what's called color casting. So that's, some examples of let's go back and finish with kind of a positive start from the front sun is either at your back so there's no shadow or you want to shoot when the sun is directly so your shadows are are uh you know they're falling right against the house so when the camera is shooting towards the house it can see the house you can see up into the front door and we're just kind of walking our way up just take Follow the traffic patterns. We're walking right through the house. That is what I call a nook back shot. So we're looking across the room where we came in and we're doing nook back. So we're completing the story there. Now this would be a center, center shot. A lot of times you're going to be off center, two feet to the right or two feet to the left. But here you need it as a center shot to complete that shot. And there's an off center shot. There's another center shot right down the center, just showing how that room, we're introducing that this kitchen and kitchenette. So it's the introduction of this part of the story. Then we're doing an off-center. That's a center shot. Off-center. Center shot showing the backyard here. You're showing uh, this room was not ready, so we did not shoot it. It was full. This is the next room we're going to. So we're showing there is a uh, there's a room here. Most people would know that is your laundry room. It's a one-story property, and then uh, this would be your primary bedroom. Shooting from the doorway. You can see how we're using one wall to make sure everything's straight. We're straight and we're level. So we're level up and down, and then we're straight right to left. Using this door to level. So we're looking straight across. That's the nook, looking into the room, looking back. Looking into the room, using this door to make sure everything is straight. Three wall perspective. Three wall perspective. That's a nook back because we just needed to show these doors in one of the rooms. Those are in all the rooms, but we just needed to show that. There we go. Three wall perspective. Hallway bathroom, usually I just do the nook back shot here. You can do the nook in shot, but really you're just getting a, a little bit of the counter, the commode, and usually a, a shower curtain. Um, and then the backyard, just working, working around 
the backyard and then right up to the patio. Let us know if you have any questions.